Hey guys, I am at the uh, Pratt Cemetery, otherwise known as the uh, Pratt Memorial Park, and it's here in, uh, look this one up, Cherokee County, Alabama. And it's uh, basically the, uh, the Pratt Family Cemetery. And you're gonna ask who the Pratts are. Well, I'm after one in particular, and that is the grave of John uh, Pratt Jr. Let me turn the camera around. So the cemetery is just up here, up ahead here. And we'll get up there. As I walk, I'll, I'll tell the story of John Pratt. He was born in 1831 in South Carolina, and then he died in 1905 at the age of 74 in Hamilton County, uh, Tennessee. And like I said, he's buried here at the Pratt Cemetery uh, in Cherokee County, Alabama. He was an inventor, and he received his notoriety for being the American inventor in the 19th century who invented a prototype of the modern typewriter. Pratt was an Alabama attorney was an investor in several newspapers near his home, and uh, one being the Center News. By 1857, he desired a better way to print newspapers, but he had little or no training in mechanics. At the dawn of the Civil War, uh, he sold his slaves in Selma in 1861. He traveled to Mobile to sail to Scotland, and then to London, England. Uh, he realized that there would be little support for a Southern inventor in the United States, so he figured he'd better go to Europe, see if he can get a little more support uh, over there. Uh, in England, he was looking to uh, he was looking to uh, basically, like I said, make a better way to to print newspapers and uh, and prepare them. Uh, so he invented a very bulky typewriter called that looks one up real quick, the Petrotype, and he received a uh, patent in England in 1864. Uh, then he traveled to France and got a French patent, and by 1867, he had sold several of his machines. Uh, customers, uh, you know, all over Europe really, really liked it. Uh, in the meantime, three American inventors were also working on the, uh, their, old, their own um, patents. Uh, and you can see from the image that he patented that the typewriter has changed a lot since then, obviously. His typewriter had uh, both upper and lower case lettering. And, uh, you know, instead of having the shift key like we do in, in modern typewriters, um, he had upper and lowercase lettering on his. Uh, you know, it was a breakthrough, the typewriter. It changed the way, you know, everything was written. I mean, still, the hand, they were expensive and bulky, uh, but a lot of correspondence, you know, became typed rather than hand, handwritten. So I don't know if we can thank him for that really hard A that we always had to try to hit. Uh, in typing class. I, I, granted, I grew up on an electric typewriter. That's how I learned to keyboard. Um, I don't think that's a class anymore. It's not showing my age. Uh, we learned on electric typewriters, but I, we had a manual typewriter at home, and I remember that hard, getting that little pinky to work on that hard A was, uh, was a challenge sometimes. So most of these are Pratt's in the cemetery. This, this little one here, I think, was a, uh, a different family here. The, the main stone on it. Uh, is Gabbett. We're going to say Gabbett. Okay. So, actually, John Pratt, he's actually buried over here in, I'm assuming, the Pratt area. And we'll confirm that when we get up there. Um, and his is right here on the end. Sorry for the crunching leaves here. It's that time of year. So here is the grave of, uh, of John Pratt. We'll get a little look at it here. See if we can read it. Might hopefully it shows up better in video. Yeah, you can make out the Jonathan. I can't quite read it, but birth date. Died at uh, Chattanooga, I think, June twenty fourth, nineteen o five. So there's there's his grave. Really nice. Wrapped around the fence here. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see everything. There we go. We have his wife, uh, Julia Porter. Yes, this is Julia's grave here right beside him. So there's Jonathan's and then his wife. Juliet Pratt McBee, be his daughter. And then we have uh, his other daughter, Stella, 1863 to 1888, and his other his other uh, daughter, um, 
uh, Juliet, she was, I'm sorry, Juliet was 1863 to 1888, and Stella here beside him uh, was uh, 50, 1857 to 76. Don't believe his parents are buried in this cemetery. There's more Pratts over there, more Pratts here. Paul F. I'm not sure who Paul is. Yeah. So there you go. Grave of Jonathan Pratt, inventor of the modern typewriter. Unfortunately, typewriters are really no longer in use with the advent of the modern keyboard. Actually, we still have a typewriter at work for it. Makes one la makes labels. So it gets used about twice a year, I think. There's an inscription here. I can't quite read it on this, but I'll zoom in here. You can still pause if you'd like to try to make it out. I'll, I'll put it in the description too if you'd like. Uh, but a very nice little cemetery. I'm sure it's very nice in the spring or summer when the, the leaves aren't crunching everywhere. But uh, yeah, well preserved on top of a hill. Town over there, up the edge there. So it's gates in good shape. It looks like the county or the township trustees take a really nice care of the cemetery here, which is good. Little cemeteries like this kind of can get lost really fast to time. Oh, there's another grave right over here. Let's check this one out as we walk out here. And you can see the, there's the road down there. So we're, we're quite a ways up. Got another grave here. Ooh, can't read that one at all. Well, I'll put something in the uh, in the video here and editing here if I uh, if I figure out who this is. We'll we'll add the name and some information if we can find it. Huh? Very interesting. Kind of off on its own there. All right, guys. Thanks for checking out the video. You know, if you haven't already, hope you like it. Uh, if you haven't, please subscribe. I try to do uh, try to post about three videos a day. Or, I'm sorry, three videos a day. Uh, three great videos uh, or cemetery videos a month. Sometimes four, just depends on how much I've got available for me to, to do and my travels. Um, but I do appreciate the support. And like I said, uh, if, you, if you know of some graves in Iowa, that's where I'm mainly based, just let me know in the comments. I'll try to check them out when I travel around in Iowa. But as always, appreciate it, so thanks. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I post four or five times a month, usually just cemetery videos, uh, the Goonies content, as well as just my travels, exploring, etc. So uh, if you take a few seconds and just uh, hit that little subscribe button, that would be great. Uh, so you don't miss anything coming up. And in the meantime, here's a few more uh, fun videos that I hope you'll enjoy.